All right, folks, welcome back. You get to save screen every time you be a stage, so we'll just save it in the first slot there. And then we shall immediately return to Sharon. Or rather, it's borders, anyway. We'll get into Sharon proper in a while. Okay, so there's actually a couple of things to do. Some things we can check out. One of the towns here, remember, said you can actually come check back after you clear stage. Yeah, this is another way you can actually recruit units. You can actually recruit allied characters depending on the leader of your group. Remember that, folks. Neut hunting down neutral characters can become very important to boistering your forces later on. And that's it there, but I'm not sure if uh, my reputation has to be a little higher or what. But there is supposed to be an item they give you there. And I believe this is, this is also the location of a treasure right here. The stage is only hidden treasure. Oh, sorry. Still gotta build up a reputation, and it's gonna take some, a few stages to do that. If you start using high level characters to defeat low level characters all the time, and that unit's gonna, gonna go evil pretty damn fast. I don't exact I don't exactly understand how that would work, but Yeah, no problem. Yeah, the Star of Heroes is actually quite, quite necessary later on. To recruit some strong characters. I sure remember that. Remember that, actually. Okay, now, like I said, I, the treasures here are actually random, so I'm actually gonna keep resetting the game until I actually get something good. So, I'm gonna stop the recording, and I'll be back when I'm ready to proceed in the game. So, be right back, folks. Alright, folks, welcome back. And I, here's a good weapon that I found. The Euros. Strength 50, plus 15, intelligence plus 3. And we're, we're going to equip this on somebody. 
I think we'll throw it on lots. Yeah, these are these are garbage, but well, well, let's put them on somebody anyway, just just because we can. I am plus two defense. It's plus two defense, I suppose. So I suppose you're all probably wondering by now, how do you earn reputation? Well. You can, I think you can actually, if you liberate towns and temples with high alignment units, you can actually, your reputation can grow. Of course, the opposite is true with low alignment units. Also, certain decisions in game will also cause your reputation to fall or rise. And we'll encounter that in a couple of stages from now. And of course, certain tarot cards can also cause your reputation to rise or fall. The devil card can cause your reputation to rise. The hero thing can. Yeah, no, the devil could cause your reputation to fall. And I can't remember exactly right now what exactly causes your reputation to go up. But. Oh, anyway, we'll find that out later. Anyways, let's just start deploying units here. liberate the first couple of towns and temples here. Well folks, welcome to Sharon proper. This area is ruled by Gilbert, who has been more or less forced to work for the Empire due to certain, shall we say, circumstances. Prisoner up two points for this unit. Very nice. Also, while we were gone, I I bought some heals and some cures and some ethereal flutes. I'll show you what those are in a second. Oh, okay. Pull the moon card and it automatically turns to night. No, actually, I think I'll toss the moon card. And now it's our job to change that. Oh, yes. Neutral encounters in the borders of Sharam. Okay, what do we have here? Now, in the mountains, there's dra there's lots of level 1 dragons, so if you want to pick up a dragon and start from scratch with one of those, you can do that. Also, on the water, there's hawkmen. And in the forest, there's golems. Don't bother with the golems, they're more or less useless in this game. They're supposed to be tanks, but... Nah. All right, Warren, get her done, buddy. But unfortunately, they just have too few hit points to really make it work. And I think I'll switch to the weak tactic here. And if you don't mind, I'll just zip through this a little bit. Okay, I, I might as well show you the effects of an Emperor card. 
This creates the, this imbues the units with the strength to make one more attack per, per skirmish. And actually, folks, I'm going to have to end this video here, but I'll see you guys later, and, well, see you next time.